Before you begin fitting the windscreen, prepare the 1K warm adhesive. This always has to be heated up for at least one hour. Check the windscreen wiper blades for wear in advance and open the side windows so that the refitted windscreen is not pressed outward when the doors are closed. A number of preliminary steps follow. Remove the various covers in the engine compartment. Then disconnect this wiring harness. Remove the windscreen wiper arms and use a wedge to remove the water deflector. Then unplug the electric connectors on the front windscreen. Remove the cover from the multifunction camera. In addition to the camera, also remove the night vision assistant along with the rain and light sensor. The A-column cladding is next. But before you continue, use a cloth to protect the dashboard against soiling and scratches. You need special tools to remove the windscreen, such as the Rollout 2000 system, for example. Cut the corresponding wire off the roll and fix the electrical wires in place. Put on protective clothing. The length of the cut wire is approximately four times the diagonal of the windscreen. Now use a tubular probe or an awl to thread in the wire. Pull the wire in and prepare it for the vacuum lift winder. Soap suds in the exterior join serve as a lubricant and protect the seal. Now you can push the prepared cutting wire into the exterior join between the windscreen and the flange. Make sure that the cutting wire is underneath the lip of the windscreen seal in order to avoid damaging it. Now tighten the rest of the cutting wire. Before carrying out the next step, use strips of adhesive tape to fasten the windscreen to the outside of the chassis. Then connect the vacuum lift winder to the right side of the windscreen on the inside. Wind the wire around the coil and tighten it. Then unplug the connector for the aerial amplifier and tape it to the windscreen. Turning the handle begins the cutting process. It is important to carry out the following steps exactly as shown. When the cut has reached the corresponding area, move the vacuum lifting tool so that the cutting wire does not break.
The bottom section of the windscreen has already been cut. Now we continue with the outside. When moving it to the next position, release the lock. Hold on to the coil so that the wire does not fall out. Then fasten the vacuum lifting tool in this position. The next position follows. Constantly check that the cutting wire runs outside underneath the sealing lip and does not cut any cables on the inside. An incorrectly guided cutting wire can destroy a windscreen which could otherwise have been reused. Also use the special plastic protection here. Change the position again when you are finished. Remove the suction winches again and position them in the middle this time. After you have made the second outside cut, repeat the same procedure again. Remove this vacuum lifting tool to reposition it for the last time. Once you have fastened it in place, cut the rest of the top section of the windscreen.
Always remember to protect the vehicle against damage. You are finished when the wire has cut the entire windscreen. Then you can remove the vacuum lifting tools. To safely remove the windscreen from the flange, attach the vacuum lifting winders to the outside of the windscreen, remove the adhesive tape and get a colleague to help you. Another film will show you how to fit the new windscreen.